Good day, good night, good morning, whatever time of the day you are listening to this. Uh, I bring you salutations from Annan House, uh, plot 559 Mabushi District of Amandubelo Way. Uh, I bring you New Year greetings and happy tidings to our members. It is indeed a, a thing of joy that God has kept us to see a new year. Um, I want to thank God for all of you. Thank God for all our common decision to push back and extend the frontiers of grace upon the disassociation. Uh, God has helped us. We have made some impact in the past eight months. We, the way I put it is that we set out on a common voyage of self-discovery and uh, we have been exploring and exploiting and plodding along these past eight months. There have been great challenges. The challenges have been at times from uh, revenue pressures upon the association, from privations in the economy, from all kinds of difficulties here and there. But it's usually said that when the tough gets going, uh, when uh, the tough gets going, no matter how tough the circumstances are, uh, when the circumstances become tougher, you see the tough get to be going. And they usually say that it is only a fish with a strong backbone that can swim against the current. So I want to congratulate all of you who have survived these difficult times and you're still waxing strong and charting the course into the future. Together, we will get there, God helping us. I want to wish you all a very pleasant and excellent year. My prayer for you is that that which you could not attain in 2021 will become possible in 2022. Not just for you, not just for your family, but also for the family of Anand. Our prayer is that God will continue to extend his grace and mercy unto us so that we'll continue to work stronger. Uh, let me say that uh, one of the things we have worked on in these past uh, few months has been worked with uh, our digital hub. There was this digital readiness assessment carried out by IFAC, International Federation of Accountants. And we discovered we were very much wanting. And we went to work to put things right. And um, we have come a long way. In fact, we are on the edge of formally launching the digital hub of our professional body. We have now come to a point where we conduct council meetings. We conduct committee meetings. Uh, we conduct exco meetings. We run all kinds of workshops and seminars through the uh, digital uh, um, option. Uh, we, we now exploit technology for the purpose of reaching out to our members. And uh, at the college, we have made quite an art of it, teaching our courses online, digitally. And uh, most recently, we conducted our first digital exams uh, using the conversion students as our test case. It's been costly. It's been tasky. But we are committed to it. And uh, what we have on the ground is something that even uh, one of our international uh, professional accountancy bodies saw and said, you have come quite a long way. We are now going to a point where we can examine our students across the entire nation using uh, the digital uh, 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 tool. So we want to let us know that we are breaking into that arena. And uh, quite a number of our members are playing very key roles in bringing us there. Let me also say that uh, in the past, those, those of you who have... Uh, but very visible in the, so on the social media platform. We'll notice that in the past few weeks, months, we have been quite visible there too. We have a, a number of young uh, professionals who have 
opened up that entire vista to Anan. And uh, don't never take it that we have arrived. We want to go much further than we have gone. We want to break into more grounds. And we want to explore and exploit more possibilities so that we become more and more visible on the social media. Um, but it has also helped our branding campaign. Those of you who have again watched that will notice that uh, Anan is beginning to feature much more frequently in the newspapers, on the televisions, and on different programs. In fact, uh, during the uh, uh, International Accounting Day, uh, the public relations team here at the headquarters arranged a series of TV audiences that I was, I was actually finding difficult to catch up with. We were channels, we were NTA, and all these things were interviews that should have cost us quite a lot of money to secure outing on. And uh, these openings were made available to us. And uh, we are trying to make Anand a much stronger and better brand. There is this other uh, issue of uh, revenue drive. We've been trying to improve our revenue profile. Um, let me say quickly that we started the year uh, when I came in in, in, uh, in April. By July, we had started construction of a major admin building at the permanent site of the Nigeria College of Accountancy. Our contention is that if rather than have the college and the university struggle for uh, assets on the same site, the college has released its site essentially to the university and gone across the fence to develop a new campus for the college. And we have started with a major admin building. That admin building is going to cost us nearly one billion naira. It's a three-floor apartment with two lifts. And uh, it's going to be a more an ultra-modern edifice with tens, twenties, and thirties of offices, apart from the other administrative issues, lecturers' offices. And uh, we're also designing a new gateway into the college, a gatehouse and new uh, wall separating the college from the university. And all these things take money. And we've had to go out so the city for funds. We want to thank our members. Uh, but one of our members, out of his own free will, gave this uh, association a donation of as much as 15 million naira. We deeply appreciate this kind of gesture. And we do wish that many more members who can do so will be challenged to do this kind of thing. It's not going into any private pockets, I can assure you of that. No person will corner these resources. They are being given essentially and importantly for the work of Anna. And we're going to make sure. So we're channeling all these things into the building or we, we, we are doing, we are uh, undertaking. We want also to thank some of our members who are in uh, uh, very sensitive offices. We don't want to mention their offices here in order not to create any conflict. But they have tried to accommodate Anan. They have realized that their offices, as distinct and as distinguished they are, as they are, actually, uh, Anan has a bearing on whatever they are doing. And uh, some of them have been so gracious. One of them has undertaken uh, a chairman to uh, erect one of the buildings, uh, an ICT uh, center at the college for both the college and the university. We are also reaching out to different kinds of all bodies, even seeking those who will come and help us uh, work on the road network in that uh, college. These are things we are doing. Let nobody sit on the fence. Don't say you don't know that we have a need at this hour. We have taken some steps and we are still pressing on. We want to leave Anand better than we found it. Let me at this point appeal to our members. Even if you do know other things, at least pay your subscription. Let this law, large debt overhang be written off. And let our members pay what they are owing so that Anand will be the Anand. 
of our dreams. Uh, we, we had an int we, uh, concerning uh, our sister professional body, we want to put on record that we have a good working relationship with almost all of them. Uh, a very interesting thing developed happened at the ICANN. We call them our elder brothers, and we 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 do that uh, uh, advisedly. Reached out to us and said, "Why don't we work together and have a joint council meeting?" So that the areas of friction between the two bodies will be minimized. And uh, sometime last year, we held the first, um, uh, 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 you know, joint uh, council meeting with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. And it was a, a virtual meeting. And thereafter, we took a decision to set up a joint committee that will meet from time to time so that we don't have all these needs to have constant, unnecessary friction and quarrels, uh, we are happily working towards that. We are also hoping that this kind of relationship will be, will be extended to our, you know, surrogate, our, our, our foster children. I think particularly about the Society for Forensic Accounting and Fraud Prevention, which we mothered and set up. And uh, we hope that they will be, they will come have a, a kind of a working relationship with other professional bodies so that the kind of frictions we have seen in the past will no longer be there. Again, the Chattel Institute of Bankers of Nigeria uh, granted us accreditation and right to train their members. They call us educational training service providers. And uh, the idea is to uh, the, the, the professional students can pass through our training and get credit for what we have taught them. Of course, you are aware that we are still working on our relationship with ACCA, uh, where we have a joint project and uh, we are working on. We are hoping that this year that kind of thing will mature. So you can see the things we are putting together. And uh, I'm sure some of you have noticed that we have a a new MCPD structure coming up this year. We we've discovered that a lot of our members are not getting the full benefits they ought to get out of our MCPD trainings. So this year, instead of the normal six outings we usually have, one in each geopolitical zone, we're having eight outings. Council took a decision last year that we will have extra outing every year in Lagos and Abuja. So every year we'll come to Lagos. Every year we'll come to Abuja. Then add this to the normal six uh, uh, structure, six uh, um, session structure we already have. That will give you eight sessions. But beyond that, we have created a, a, a more diverse study theme where we have four instead of one just having one theme for the mcpd this year we have four different themes the idea is that every member is free to go to which one he wants to go to uh, you are you are at liberty to attend the one you want to attend uh, let me give you this take the first one contemporary developments in public sector accounting and financial management. So, if that's your area of interest, public sector, there are five papers that will take you through in that section alone. And you have an opportunity to attend MCPD on that topic. This topic will hold sway two times in the year. The first one is at Abuja, February. 28th to March 2, 2022. That's the first time it will hold in Abuja. So if that one doesn't fall in with your plan, it, can, it doesn't suit you. The second one will come up in Owere. In August. August 29 to August 31, 2022. So if your interest is in public sector accounting and management, you have an option. Come to Abuja and get, go through the training on it. If Abuja doesn't follow with your plan for the year, plan for Owere and go to Owere in August. So either Abuja in February or Owere 
in August. The second thing is dynamics of corporate reporting and governance. Again, if that's your area, corporate reporting, corporate governance, all kinds of uh, issues with the financial reporting industry, you have a choice again. You could go to Yenagoa, April 4 to 6 in the year 2022, or if April doesn't suit you, you can plan for Sokoto in October 20, or on October 24 to 26, 2022. So, again, dynamics of corporate reporting and governance. You are either in Yenagoa in April or in Sokoto in October. We are again, again making, making the options available to you so that you pursue your dream. You pursue your passion. You pursue your vision. We want you to be the best in whatever you are doing. We want you to remain on the cutting edge of your, of your professional pursuit. The third theme says contemporary auditing governance, forensics, and ethical conduct. Contemporary auditing governance, forensics, and ethical conduct. Again, you have a choice. If you can go to, you can go and, uh, you know, be trained on this at Bauchi from May 23 to May 25 in 2022, or you wait for Lagos December 5 to 7, 2022. Again, you have a choice. If your area is auditing, forensics, whatever, you can go to Bauchi in May or wait for Lagos in December. And you can even attend more than one. And then the last theme for the year is technology impact on accounting practices. Here again, your choice can be at Ibado, July 4 to 6, or Makodi, November 14 to November 16. So again, you see the spread. The idea is to make these options available so that you will be built up, capacity building. We don't want it to be that you are just sunk into just one uh, uh, theme. You have now have a choice of where to go to. And uh, the point is that as you go to each of these places, you'll be the better for it. So please don't let this uh, avenue pass you by. And if you have the need to go to more than one, assuming you in, uh, in February, you attend contemporary developments in public sector accounting and financial management in Abuja. That would be wonderful. But you should also make up your mind that you want to attend the contemporary auditing governance, forensics, and ethical conduct. And so you wait for Bauchi again. And Bauchi attended May. What we may do, if we focus ahead of time, we may get permission from council to give you about 25% discount on the second one. Of course, the first one, everybody pays the same thing. But if you are going to do it a second time, we may give you a discount, but that has to be with the authority of council. So you can see that we are thinking about you, and uh, we hope that you will make take the make the best use of all this. There's another issue that has come up, and we, we think you must know: the Annan Bill. A number of people have asked questions: What do we stand to gain from this? Why are we talking about that? Uh, a new Annan bill. Let me take the easy answer first. We have made so many decisions over time since the inception of that law. And the Annan bill was signed into law August 1993. And uh, between that time and now, so much has happened. And we are, the, we are aware that we have taken so many decisions ratified by council, which is part, all of them part of the practices we uphold now, but they were not part of the law. And so they need to be enshrined in the law. It's, as if, it's not as if they are new things. Let me give an example. When we started, a member of the profession was called NNA, Nigerian National Accountant. It was peculiar. And he stood us out. Anywhere you had national accountants, you knew it was from Annan. But over time, our founding fathers brought this idea. So why don't you call it certified national accountants? And we took this title to members. And they approved of it at AGM. 
And so we became certified national accountants. But the parent law still bears NNA. And over time, we also found a need to further improve on that. Why would a, 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 a practicing member not be a chartered national accountant? Seeing that we also have a charter, and that charter is the law that established us. So these are some of the things we build into a bill, so that it will be a protection for members in whatever they are doing. And let me also say that we are, there have been other changes. Our head office has changed. No more 248 about Macaulay Street, um, Yama Lagos. It's now uh, plot 559 Mabushi District, Kado Abu, uh, Abuja. So you can see that these are things that need to change in our parent law. Even our logo has changed with all that it, 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 uh, it uh, entails. And we need to build these things into the law. So it will be that the law will be amended to reflect changes that are already on the ground. It's not as if we're trying to uh, add new things. And let me add one other dimension. When we started accounting, we knew what com comprised the profession. You were uh, financial accounting, cost and management accounting, taxation, um, auditing, uh, public sector management. Account. No, these were the things that made up accounting as a profession the way we knew it. But over time, specializations have started creeping in. So that taxation is now a separate you know, discipline cut out from accounting. And who knows? Forensic accounting will also be cut out. And maybe with time, it will also cut out cost and management accounting. And if you know, before you know it, financial accounting will be cut out too, as they call it corporate governance and reporting. I suddenly discovered that there's no more accounting left for us to. So we want to make sure that what we are doing is protected by the law. So if we are doing